People in one Baldwin County town spent today cleaning up after those storms that moved through last night. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams joins us live. Debbie, just when we thought our area had dodged a bullet last night, bam, all of this happens in summer day. <laughs> Yes, it did. You know, and there were survey crews out here looking at that damage earlier today. We were with them as they were surveying the damage from the National Weather Service. They've determined it was straight line winds, 60 mile per hour straight line winds that did all the damage last night in Somerdale. Just when it seemed the severe weather had moved through overnight, this happened in Somerdale. We got a little bit of damage from it. Meteorologists from the National Weather Service surveying the damage in David Edgard's backyard. Everything we thought was calmed down, and then all of a sudden we heard the glass blow out in the office in there, and uh, we jumped up running there, and that's what it was, and then we walked out here. The biggest mess on Highway 59, as seen from our Sky 5 drone. The storm littering the roadway and everything else in its path with sheet metal, tree limbs, and power lines. Highway 59 and 32 area where we had the sheds that came across the roadway, took out the power lines. So our crews were busy with that for several hours. At the time that this storm moved through, there was a, a very weak circulation, but compared to some of the other storms that we had last night, certainly not one of the more intense. But enough to cause a few anxious moments and a big sigh of relief that it wasn't worse. We were very lucky on this one. So they spent the full day cleaning up the stuff, getting electricity back connected to a lot of the businesses along 59. And the good news in all of this is almost all that cleanup is over and there were no injuries reported from last night's storms. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Somerdale, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.